Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna go through image caching. Now, what is image caching? Good question. Every time you try to download an image from a URL, you're using your 4G data, if you're on your mobile data, of course, and this wastes your data every time you want to see this the same image over and over again. Now, what does image caching does? Once you download the image from the URL, the application is gonna cache this image, which means it's gonna put it into the application and it's gonna save it there for a long time. And every time you try to access the same image again, instead of downloading it from the URL, you're gonna access it through the cache, which is in the application, and it's gonna show it instantly and without using any of your data. Like this, you save your users a lot of data and also your application runs smoother and faster because it shows the image almost instantly. And the good part is that there are a lot of frameworks that do the work for us. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to work with Kingfisher, which will do the work for us with just two lines of code. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's start with our new project. Go to Xcode and create a new project. That's gonna be a single view application. And let's name it, whatever, uh, cache and click next great perfect now that we created the project uh, we want to close this and what we're gonna use we're gonna use the kingfisher framework to cache our images so if you go to the installation guide you will see how you can install it with cocoa pods if you don't know what cocoa pods is you can just google it and instantly as you can see here you can install cocoa pods very easily so I'm gonna copy these things and I'm gonna go and create a pod file. How do we create a pod file? Open terminal and go to your project. My project is in desktop YP cache. Now I'm in my project folder as you can see here it says cache and here I just need to say pod init. After this is done uh, this created a pod file into our project, so I can say open pod file. And this is my pod file. Now, I want to delete those lines. And in here, I want to copy that one and add it right here. And those lines right here, I want to add them at the top. Like this. And then... You save this file, you close it, and you say pod install. And as you can see, uh, Kingfisher is getting installed into our project. After this is done, you, you will see, if you say open dot, that this created an Xcode workspace. And you will have to work on this one in order your pod to work. This opens my second screen, and here it is. Now that we've installed that, we want to go to our main storyboard and add a table view into our project. So let's go and add the table view. I'm gonna expand it like this and add constraints. Just like this. And let's create the prototype cell. I want to create a cell that is gonna have an image in there that I'm gonna download from the internet and then I'm gonna cache it so it's saved into my application and from there whenever I make a call to get that image I will get it from my application instead of the URL. So let's go and put here 0, 0 and here I'll put 0 and here 0. Add for constraints, update the frame. Okay, now that I created uh, this cell I need to create a class for this cell so I'm going to right click on the uh, project and say new file that's gonna be a cocoa touch class and this is gonna be a subclass of UI table view cell and we're gonna call it image cell create okay and go back to our storyboard now the table view cell right here you need to give it an identifier let's give it an identifier of image cell and in the identity inspector, you need to give the class of image cell, just like this. 
After you've done that, open your assistant editor. And here in our image cell, we want to drag uh, the image view that we created into our image cell. Now, how we do this, I select this one and going to automatic image cells should be right there. And this is our image cell uh, class. And here we right click and drag or control and drag the image view and call it image view like this. Perfect. Now into our view controller, we want to make this view controller to implement some uh, table view delegates, which is the UI table view delegate and the UI table view data source. Just like this. And that is going to give you an error because you need to comfort to some methods. Those methods are number of sections in table view, and we're going to have just one section. Uh, we also want to return um, number of rows, so number of rows in section. And right now I'm going to return zero. Later on, I'm going to show you how you can create more. And lastly, you want to say self for row at index path and right here you want to say let's sell equal table view dot the queue with reusable cell and the identifier is going to be image cell that we said to the image and you want to cast this as a image cell the reason you want to cast it as an image cell is because we want to get the uh, image view property and assign assign an image in there. And right here, we return our cell. Now, a few things we need to do first is we want to connect our table view to the view controller. So if you select the table view, go automatic and goes to view controller. And let's connect the outlet of our table view and call it table view. And after that, you need to right click and drag to the view controller right here at the table view and say data source and once again say delegate. Like this, you're connecting the data source and the delegate so your table view controller will listen to those methods. Perfect. Now let's uh, run this and see that everything runs fine. And as you can see, this is the table view with zero cells. It it didn't give me any crash, so we can continue. Perfect. Now, in here, I will need an array of URLs that will lead to images. And I have on my second screen some. I'm just going to copy them and create the array here. Now, you want to say var array of images. And that's going to be equal to this array. And now, in here, you will see I have three URLs that lead to some images. It's going to make it like this, more readable. OK, so as you can see, I have three URLs that those URLs lead to some images. What is going to happen is for each URL, we're going to uh, download the image from that URL, and we're going to also cache it. The second time you make this call in the image, is going to come from your application and not going to download it so you don't drain the user's data since he already has seen this image. And it also will load faster the image since he doesn't need to download it again. Now, what are you going to do? The number of row in sections, you want to return as many images are in that array. So you just type array of images dot count. So here we have three images and that's going to return three cells. And now to continue to cache our image, you need to import our Kingfisher. And we importing our Kingfisher, that means we have access to its methods. And the method we want to use is cell dot image view that we created of the cell dot kf stands for Kingfisher, and you are accessing its methods now dot set image and set image with resource. Now, what is this resource? That means we need to create a resource right here. And let's go and create, and I will explain what resource is. So let's call this let resource equal image 
resource open brackets and you have here download URL and download URL with cache key now if you don't want to cache your image you can use the first one but since we want to cache our image we will use this method and what we're gonna pass here we're gonna pass the URL that one and then a string of the let's call this image ID which our application is gonna check if this cache key with that uh, ID exists then it's gonna put that image in that ID instead of the one that is in the URL and like this you save data from the user and you also load the image way faster so let's say here URL is URL parenthesis string like this because you want to make a URL out of strings since our URLs here are strings and the string you want to say is array of images open brackets and here say index path dot row just like this and here you want to say explanation mark that that this string exists as a URL and cache key you want to give the same one so the same one string so this cache key contains the ID of the URL so if the URL matches uh, with one in our cache it's gonna get the image from the cache instead of the URL and simply in here you say resource just like this so let's go around this and see how this actually works and here you can see the first image appeared very fast and the ones the first one and the third one are still not available as you can see this one just downloaded and it appeared and the first one is gonna come very soon after it gets downloaded from the URL and here is the first one as you could see they took some time to download but now they are cached into our application so the second time I'm gonna make this request to get the images you will see how fast they're gonna appear so I'm gonna run again uh, the application and just notice they're gonna be instantly there they're there's no need to download them again you see bam they're already there now image caching is very important as it saves user data and also it runs your application way more smoother and way faster so if you have an application that downloads images from urls go ahead and implement this framework that's so easy in just two lines of code it caches your image and it does all the work for you and this is it for today guys so if you have an application that downloads an image from a URL, go ahead and implement image caching in it. Just to specify, it doesn't need to be just in a table view. So if you have a collection view, a page view controller, or even in a single view that you're downloading an image, you can cache it. It's not specifically designed for table view that I showed in the example. So wherever you are downloading an image, you can go and cache it. So if you like the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.